Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. This is an unboxing of the Witch's Roots and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So if you're new here, I'm your host The Apocrypha. It is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider joining this little family that we have going on here. I post mostly tarot related content, uh, tarot readings, zodiac signs, and um, I will be posting more things in the future fashion related otherwise and different things like that so I hope that you'll consider sticking around turning on post notifications so you'll be notified anytime that I post new content and if you're returning welcome back soul family I love you guys hugs <laughs> all right so I'm always fucking excited for this shit they're always so beautiful they always smell so good they're always so fun and I enjoy using these items. I have a little collection of the candles and the um, herbs growing and kind of piling up but I like to use them for specific purposes. It's just time for me to use them for more purposes. <laughs> so anyway, you're here for the unboxing. Shall we unbox it? So. This is the month of October, so Samhain is right around the corner, and I'm excited. I want to do something for once, like, so, this month's box, a couple of the first things that we have here, the Besom, and Blue Sage, so, let's see. I will, if you know my style of um, unboxings of these things, then you will know. I like to read the first part, the first, just the top part um, of each box before I get into the content. I already saw the Blue Sage and the Besom, so that's obvious to me. There might be a Besom in there. Um, but yeah, so let's what's in here I can't remember correctly but I think blue sage is one of the herbs that I'm not so fond of um, so I guess we'll find out soon enough huh all right so the witch's besom it says <clears throat> During this sacred time of year, we spend a large part of our time focusing on our inner workings. This includes peering into the shadows, working with ancestral and spiritual guides, and using a variety of divinatory tools to bring clarity to our reality. It is vital that while we work through our practices during this time that we control the energies that surround us as well as the energy that resides within our sacred space. In this very special collection, we work with a variety of wonderful companions to assist us in clearing and cleansing our space so that we may bring in the beneficial energies we seek. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. And I completely agree 100% with you guys. Um, yes, every practitioner is different and the beautiful thing about spirituality is that it is free and it is different and it is unique to each and every single one of us and no one can fucking tell you how to practice your spiritual practices as long as you're not going around raping and murdering people and harming other people for no fucking reason all right beyond that you do you you want to have an altar have an altar you don't then don't you want to you know, perform rituals, then do. I saw 444, do it up. <laughs> you want to manifest, then manifest. You want to work with crystals, work with those, or whatever it is that you feel called to do, give it a try, explore. That's the beautiful thing, and yet 
the sad thing about you know our life and society is that it just drains exploration but anyway I hope I was making sense but you're here for this so again we have the best on here so we did get a little sneak peek into that and then we have blue sage which we also saw a little bit of and these are two of the items that are included in the box and let's read this really quick mm. so it is to help with cleansing hearth home intuition journey protection purity spirit and contact or spiritual contact so those are just you know really fast some of the things that a besom helps with um, its influences are the moon mercury and Pluto the element is air the old English besma refers to bundle of twigs from West Germanic besman also sourced from old Frisch Frisian, Frisian, Besma, Rod, Birch, and Old Saxon Besmo. Interesting. So I won't get into the history or the etiquette or correspondences, but um, if, if you could see, if you can, and you want to pause it and read it, then please do so. I know this. not likely but that's very beautiful very interesting I have wanted to work with the best one before so I am excited for that let's see the first item that I see that I personally don't think that I will be very fond of is uh, the sage it smells good though they do smell Oh, they smell so good. But I don't know, when burning sage smell, I'm not the most fond of. And I don't remember if it's blue sage or a different kind of sage. I think it might be blue sage. Because I think I have a bundle that I started burning like a long time ago and I never use it. But oh, it smells so good. Just like this. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, uh, what I'll probably do is just like, Maybe the other one just keep it and like open it up and just take it all apart so that I have the loose herb Instead of having like a smudge bundle of it because it's not my favorite smudge to use One of my favorite methods personally is um, Palo Santo's my favorite like it just smells so fucking good um, or incense, but again as they said in the witch's roots and the fucking thing earlier, everyone practices differently. And every herb, every crystal, everything in existence has its own sacred, beautiful uh, properties. And could be used for so many different beautiful purposes. So anyway, let's continue, shall we? So, we have the candle. Always smells so fucking good these natural wax candles are amazing I love them so much they are probably like one of my favorite parts <laughs> just because I I do like doing candle magic even though I don't always um, but yeah these candles are in my opinion the best natural wax these wax candles are amazing and you don't hurt these to get the wax. Beautiful. Okay. So this one is like a white color, very pure, and I'm pretty sure that's probably why they chose white. It's about cleansing, uh, cleansing, purity, stuff like that. So, let's see. We have here copal. The incense is copal. Copal is a resin, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Mm. I always.
always love this shit, man. They always smell so fucking good. The art is always amazing. Like, the candles, wax candles, love them. Okay, let me just get everything out so I don't have to deal with all this <laughs> hay kind of stuff. I already see a few of the items, but I'm not like really paying attention to them yet. Alright. Okay. So, that's it for the box. I have the goodies here. I see a rune here. There's like a little pouch with a rune. This is actually a couple, a few runes. This is actually, let me see, one, two, Three. This may be like three, four, five runes put together. I saw 11, 11. For sure, there's at least three runes. I see one here. I see this one that's kind of like a fish. And then this one. I see the one that looks like an F. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have a one of the boxes that came with a. Um, mojo bag already made that have one of these and it was a mixture of two different um, runes together and it was for protection and I leave that in my mom's car I she's you know she lends me her car so I leave it in there for protection and so I wonder what this one's for maybe I'll make a mojo bag for it and I'll leave it for its purpose or I'll just throw it in my charm bowl. <laughs> Next thing, let's move to here. We have Psychic Besom. Ooh, fun. That sounds fun. Hmm. Oh, it smells good. It smells clean. It smells fresh. I didn't expect it to smell like kind of minty, but it does have a minty smell. Maybe peppermint or tea tree. I don't know. I'm bad with smells, but it smells good. It smells clean. It smells fresh. You can smell that that little hint of cold. You know what I mean? It's like a besom. Next thing we have here in this pouch is one of their beautiful pewter um, objects. Usually they're necklaces. Usually I put them in my charm bowl these days. Um, but yeah, they're always beautiful. Usually it's a necklace, sometimes it's not. So this one is indeed a necklace. And in the back... Oh, <laughs> Oops. In the back, it does say Besom. It says Cleansing, Home, Journey, Spirit Contact, Protection, Purity, and Intuition. It has the only symbol that I recognize here is I think that's Virgo. I think that's Virgo, right there. Um, that's the only symbol that I recognize. But this is very beautiful. They always are. Alright, and so the last item in this box is obviously this beautiful clear quartz chunk. Like, I could just already see this beauty. Hello. I saw 1441. This is a gorgeous piece. I usually don't prefer getting um, clear quartz in a polished, like, 
blob form. I usually prefer it in its like quartz point form. You know what I mean? Like uh, instead of being polished like that, something for example that's more like uh, this a point versus a polished stone for clear quartz, but is gorgeous and honestly I feel like this piece is going to follow me around I'm definitely going to be holding this piece around with me for some time I can feel that it wants to let's work together right that's why you're you're here welcome to the family <laughs> it's beautiful honestly out of this whole box this month I mean, this is my favorite part, but I mean, isn't my favorite part usually always the stone? <laughs> I just love crystals so much, but I mean, don't a lot of us these days. Um, so yeah, those are the items in the box for this month, and I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to stick with me reading the rest of this shit, then stick around i'll show the items a little bit better while we will be chatting up and uh sorry if i read slow and fuck up some words but let's go so the first thing is the blue sage <clears throat> salvia azuria grandmother sage Unlike white sage, blue sage is found in the eastern and southern, southeastern states and is commonly cultivated to provide its own unique energies. A wonderful alternative to white sage, this unique herb is less potent in, small and, in smell and smoke and carries with it the ability to bring in new energies instead of distincting distinctly dispelling negative energies the floral qualities that are associated with blue sage bring calmer notes to its aroma although blue sage can dispel negative energies within your sacred space and ritual area it is well known for its ability to attract success through prosperity and abundance of all kinds in addition to attracting these energies, blue sage is an extremely mindful herb, promoting relaxation, relieving stress, and calming anxious thoughts and emotions. While using blue sage as a clearing smoke, the energies of comfort and guardianship can quickly be felt. The specific wand can be broken down and burned in small amounts within a fire safe bowl or simply burned as a wand. We always recommend burning blue sage before rituals to set your space and cast your circle. As you allow the smoke from this blue sage to waft throughout your space, take the time to vocalize your intentions for doing so. As you speak clearly and out loud, your intentional energy becomes more potent and apparent, assisting you in manifestation. We have associated this blue sage wand with the witch's besom for this for its ability to clear and assign the sacred space. Celestial associate Jupiter Elemental Association Air. It does smell really good. So I wonder if white sage is the one that I don't like as much. But I know it's one of them, and it looks kinda like this. But I kind of want to burn it and find out. But if it's the same thing, then why burn two and not use them? <laughs> so I might just break it down, um, if anything. But anyway, blue sage herbal a grimoire work. We have. And it starts like that, actually. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Blue Sage. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows herbal grimoire or place on your altar for display. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. 
who's who's the same artist illustrator for all of their works that I've known of um, since I've known of the witch's moon which has started before witch's roots and witch's bounty um, witch's moon has always had the same kind of artwork so I think that's really amazing that they have the same artist and I keep intending to learn more about this artist but I keep forgetting unfortunately so <laughs> I gotta get on that but the next thing is let's see it's actually this the broom the broom Christopher Pen Penchek forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly it's P-E-N-C-Z-A-K pendant with chain we are so thrilled to have the opportunity to include such a meaningful pendant into this collection. This pendant has been designed by Christopher Penchek, uh, known for his extensive authorship. Christopher Penchek is a witch teacher, writer, and healing practitioner, practitioner and the founder of the Temple of Witchcraft Tradition and System. On the back of this pendant, you will find the following inscription. Broom, cleansing, home, journey, spirit contact, protection, purity, and intuition. As you wear this pendant, allow it to remind you that it is within your power to use the witch's besom to bring clarity and beauty to your surroundings. It's beautiful. Someone else that I need to look into now. Alright, so the next thing here is the Besom Book of Shadows artwork. It states, Created to be a brief reference guide, this wonderful artwork provides the basic information on the Besom, or Witch's Broom. At this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, place on your altar for display, written by written and illustrated by E.E. E. Alden. Okay, the same artist. Still always beautiful as always. The next thing is the tumbled stone. My favorite part. <laughs> this one. This beauty right here. It says tumbled clear quartz crystal as one of the most programmable stones in the mineral realm clear quartz is a wonderful companion to every practitioner a stone of light and amplification this beautiful tumbled stone has the ability to enhance the intentions that you purposefully place within it in addition clear quartz embodies the concept of clarity and can assist you in the understanding complex ideals and perceptions. As you work with clear quartz, allow its energies to enhance the magic that flows through you and your sacred space. Isn't it beautiful? This piece. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, wow. Okay, uh, the next thing, white light cleansing mini spell candle. We have hand rolled this white light mini spell candle with the intention of promoting the energies of clarity and cleansing. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to cleanse your sacred space and thoughts before delving into deeper ritual. Okay. <clears throat> The next thing is the protected home bind rune. Okay, so it's protected home. I'll do a home <laughs> ritual for it then. So, it says, This bind rune was created exclusively for this very collection. Placed within its design are the runes of... Oh, I suck at pronouncing these. I'm sorry. Raido, R-A-I-D-H-O, Algiz, Algiz, A L G I Z, Othala, O T H A L A, and Answers, Answers, 
A-N-C-U-Z. These runes combine the energies of journey, protection, home, and intuition. This bind rune can be placed within sachet or mojo bags or used within any magical practice you feel called to include. Alrighty. The next thing is the magical anointing oil. It says... Psychic Besom Magical Anointing Oil. The Psychic Besom Magical Anointing Oil has been created with the intention of clearing any clutter that may be clouding your intuition and psychic sight. As you anoint your skin or ritual tools, visualize your mind becoming free from anxious thoughts. As you focus on your breathing, allow yourself to slowly become aligned with your higher purpose. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with rosemary, peppermint, and a clary sage oils and have included rosemary and mugwort herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz set to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our third eye magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Be careful when applying to skin. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin, external use only. Okay, and the last thing is the copal incense. It says, These fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to help attract loving and positive energies. As you allow the smoke from your incense to waft throughout your space, take a deep and intentional breath. We have curated this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and signs from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects placed inside this collection. We truly hope that these items will bring new and refreshed energies to your sacred space so that you may perform your rituals during this Samhain season. Blessed be the witch's roots. October 2021. So, that's everything for this box, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I always do. <laughs> and, uh... I hope to see you in the next video. I did just post um, all the zodiac sign readings. Today I did it a little bit differently than usual. I did them all in one video instead of doing them all in their own separate videos which does take up a lot more time. And um, so I was able to share quick little messages for today since it's been a little, um, a little busy and a little rest needed but um yeah thank you so much for being here i love you guys and i always hope to see you in the next one thank you bye